Hi, I'm Kenny Shanker, and right now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about breathing. Now, of course, we all breathe. Everybody knows how to do that. But for some reason, uh, when it comes to breathing for playing a musical instrument, many of us forget how to breathe properly, and we do something totally different, and we don't get to maximize our breath and get the best possible sound on our instrument. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, when I tell most people to take a breath, uh, take a deep breath, take a big breath, it looks something like this. You know, they give a, okay, I'll take a big breath, and they go, <gasps> and, you know, it's very dramatic. You know, the shoulders go up, and you hear this gasping for air. And the thing about that is that's actually kind of a shallow breath. It's not a deep breath at all. And you're only filling up part of uh, your capacity for air and you'll get tired that way and it doesn't look pretty and it sounds bad and all that stuff. So when you want to think about breathing, here's the best way I know how to think about it. Uh, so to do this, you'll need to lie down uh, either on the floor, if the floor is comfortable and if it's not dirty, and lie on your back and with your hands just sort of on your midsection here and relax. And uh, it doesn't have to be the floor, it could be your bed, it could be a couch, whatever, but make sure you have plenty of room and you're comfortable flat on your back. And relax like you're going to sleep. You know, think about really relaxing thoughts. Think about how delicious your sandwich was for lunch. You know, think about, you know, whatever. Think about the basketball game you saw last night. Think about some music you like. Whatever it is, but get in the space where you're totally relaxed and feel the way you're breathing. Don't force anything, just breathe normally. And the kind of breath you're taking, that's the way you want to breathe when you're playing your instrument. You know, it's not forced. You're getting full breaths. And if you take a deep breath when you're lying down like that, feel what that feels like to take that kind of a deep breath. Feel where you're breathing from. Feel how relaxed your body is. Feel how that feels. Now, we're going to take that same principle. So, obviously, you're going to get off of the floor or your bed or your couch or whatever and um, you're going to grab your instrument and now when you take a deep breath you're going to try to put yourself in that position remember what that felt like and a deep breath doesn't have to look like much it can be you know with that breath I'm filling up not only down here but my diaphragm you know my uh, lower area here also my whole chest my back is even puffing out a little bit everything is filling up with air like a balloon and when I do that, I can. it's a huge breath. It doesn't look like, you know, I'm totally relaxed. So you want to take a deep breath and, and relax and, and release. And that's the way you want to breathe when you're playing your instrument. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, here's a couple of exercises you can do. So one thing I like to do, uh, I'm a big uh, metronome guy. I love using a metronome for everything. I mean, I would use a metronome to just walk across the street if I could. Um, so you put on your metronome, and uh, for now my snapping fingers are going to be our metronome for right now. And you take a note, let's say your uh, middle G, right? And you're going to put it on 60 or 80 or whatever, let's say 60 because that's like seconds. And you're going to hold the note, take a nice deep breath like we talked about, relaxed. And hold the note as long as you can and count the number of clicks. So, Now, obviously, I can hold it a lot longer than that, but I don't want to sit here all day playing long notes on the video. Otherwise, you're going to turn this off and you're not going to listen to the rest of it. So, you want to do that, and then I'd like to take it up an octave. Do the same thing. hold that out as long as you can. Now, what I would do is have a, a sheet of paper or a music book or your iPad, your tablet, uh, your phone, whatever you have handy, and write down how many clicks you could hold it. So let's say you could hold it for 15 and, uh, and you feel out of breath. The next time you try this exercise, you try to shoot for 16 or 18 or even 20. And you keep increasing that time until you can hold these really long notes. And, um, and you'll increase, you know, you'll start to feel what you have to do with your body. You'll start to develop your, um, your breath control and be able to really um, 
take deeper breaths and hold the notes out for longer. It's a really cool exercise and you could be competitive with yourself and see how far you can go. Now obviously you don't want to hurt yourself. At some point you do run out of air and you don't want to get dizzy and fall over or anything like that. But push yourself enough so that you're continuing to grow. Alright, so that's that. Now another thing uh, when it comes to breath, this is something I hear all the time. Now when people are talking, we tend to breathe great. You know, if I'm telling you a story, let's say my story is that uh, I went to the post office earlier. I waited in a really long line at the post office. And uh, when I finally got up to the front of the line, uh, the post office person took out a hamster. And the hamster started telling me about his day. Right? So that's just a story. Now, if I'm telling you the story, and I tell it like this. So I was at the post office, and I finally <gasps> got up to the front of the line. And when I, <gasps> when I got there, you know, the, they pulled out a hamster. And they, <gasps> if I do that, it sounds so strange. It's just weird. It doesn't make any sense. If you heard that, you would think I had some kind of a problem. And, uh, which I would. I uh, have, a, have a big problem. Uh, but in music, people do it all the time. They're playing through a phrase, you know. <laughs> Right? They're just right in the middle of the phrase. They're taking this humongous breath and it just sounds terrible. And you wouldn't do that when you're talking and you shouldn't do that when you're playing either. So what I do is I plan ahead. So if you have sheet music, I actually make breath marks. They look, I make little commas. They look like little um, you know, apostrophes or commas or whatever. And I plan where it makes sense to breathe. So I try not to do it in the middle of a phrase. So if, I, you know, if there's a complete phrase, I try to get all of that in. If it has to be in the middle, that's okay. If you can sneak something in where it um, where there's a natural maybe a little pause or where there's a little spot whatever it is but plan your breathing plan your breathing so that uh, you know it's, it's a minimal so you don't notice it when you're playing uh, a couple other little tips about breathing one of them is you should be totally relaxed when you're playing and um, a lot of people they get really tense they go to play their note and their shoulders tense up and their neck tenses up and their back tenses up and everything. It's just the whole body gets tense for some reason. Their face muscles and everything. Things start even shaking and twitching and oddly your sound, you know, you'll start to hear like, uh, you know, like a like an actual shaking, a quivering in the note because there's all this tension. So, and it, it will impact your breathing as well because when you're totally tense, you're not going to breathe uh, with the maximum uh, potential. You're going to be running out of breath sooner and you're running out of air sooner so you want to keep totally relaxed. So one thing you can do is before you go to play your instrument you could take a few minutes and just take some deep breaths and relax and check and relax and check, check your body. Make sure your shoulders are loose and make sure your chest and your stomach and your back and your legs make sure everything is loose and relaxed and then when you go to play also, check yourself periodically. Make sure you're not tensing up and you're going to get more uh, breath support that way. The final thing, and I've had a couple of people emailing me about um, their sound. Like, you know, they're worried about, their, they don't like the sound they're getting. And uh, there's all kinds of things that can go into that. Certainly breathing is a part of it. Uh, but this part, I think, is the first thing you might want to check out is your equipment. It's probably not your equipment that's the problem, but just in case, you always want, if you have any kind of leaks in your saxophone, if there's any air escaping through the pads, they're not sealing properly, that can really cause a problem with your sound, and you'll run out of breath and everything. So take, it to, uh, take your saxophone to a repair, repair person regularly, uh, especially if you feel like it's not playing or you're not playing uh, the way you'd like to. And just check it for leaks. Check to make sure everything's in working order. You don't have to have a really expensive fancy instrument, uh, but you do need to have an instrument that works, you know, that has no uh, major problems. And uh, in addition to that, when it comes to your mouthpiece, the same thing. Make sure your mouthpiece isn't cracked or chipped or anything like that. It should be a good working mouthpiece. It doesn't need to be crazy expensive or fancy, but it should be working. And reeds. Reeds are super important. Um, if your reed is all wavy and looks like this, you're not going to be able to get a, uh, a good sound that way. You're going to run out of breath. It's going to be too difficult. You know, you can, uh, you can flatten the reed out um, and, uh, or, or use a new reed. But when you're using reeds, um, it's important to uh, make sure the reed is not too stiff 
and it's not too um, it's not too easy to play. So you should have just the right amount of resistance. For me, I tend to like a little bit of a softer read. I like to be able to blow pretty easy. You know, I don't like to put too much effort in to make the sound. Uh, some people love more resistance, but that's up to you. But if you feel like you're having too much trouble blowing, like if there's too much resistance, if it's you're running out of breath too easily, whatever it is, you can try um, you can try making a softer read size. So if you're using three and a halfs, maybe try threes. If you're using threes, try two and a halfs, whatever it is. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum, if you feel like you're not getting the control you want to get, you know, if it's a little too easy blowing, if it's too free, there's not enough resistance, and you're you're playing out of tune, and um, you know you're not getting the kind of controlled sound you want. You can try making uh, using stiffer reeds. So that's and usually the way I use one last thing about reeds, I usually base on how open the mouthpiece is. So let's say this is your mouthpiece tip. If it's a uh, closed mouthpiece, meaning the mouthpiece tip is really close to where the reed is, I tend to want to use a stiffer reed. If it's an open mouthpiece, so if it's the reed is pretty good distance away from the tip of the mouthpiece, I like to use a softer reed. So that's something to keep in mind too. Uh, right now I'm using a uh, Java 2.5 reed, green box, uh, for alto. And 2.5 is you know, obviously not very stiff reed, but I, I it tends to work great for me. Um, but everybody's different, everybody's body's different, everybody breathes differently. So those are some uh, tips about proper breathing for the saxophone, and I do hope you uh, enjoy that. And uh, that is not the only thing, I mean, that breathing exercise with the holding the notes out, that is not what um, I mean when I you know, talk about practicing long tones. Long tones, for me, that's a whole different thing. That's a series of exercises that I do to work on my sound, improving my sound. And this is just one exercise I like to use to help me with my breathing but there's a whole bunch of other ones and I will hopefully uh, be able to make another video and talk to you about that. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're having a great day and uh, good luck with everything. You can get more information on my website at kennyshanker.com. You can also subscribe below to see more videos and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.